Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Voting Geekery. Today I'm having a quick look at Dali Mini. Now in case you've been living under a rock and don't know what Dali is, it generates images from a text prompt. This is Dali Mini. It isn't the OpenAI Dali and it certainly isn't Dali 2, but it is like a, a mini Dali, Dali Mini. Now there's various different ways you can run this. Let's scroll down and we'll see here how to use it. There's an official Dali demo there. There's a collab which you can open up there. Uh, I'm going to be running it locally, of course, because that's the sort of thing I do. Uh, but there is now also a Docker file there. Improved uses of Docker. So if you have a quick look at the Docker, there's a build Docker and a Docker file there and a run Docker image. So if you're, if you're all into the Docker sort of stuff, then there you go. That's Docker. So we'll have a quick look at the uh, official Dali mini demo first. There you go. So that's what you get. So you have to type in your prompt there, then click run, and then eventually you'll get some images. As you can see, those are some extremely nerdy rodents. Now, we will also just highlight this uh, bias and limitations. So as it says there, while the capabilities of image generation models are impressive, they may also reinforce or exacerbate societal biases. While the extent and nature of the biases of the DALI Mini model have yet to be fully documented, given the fact that the model was trained on unfiltered data from the internet, it may generate images that contain stereotypes against minority groups. Work to analyze the nature and extent of these limitations is ongoing and will be documented there in the DALI mini model card. So do be aware of those biases. As you can see there, that's 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 very biased towards people. Nerds obviously wear, wear glasses. Yes, yes, all nerds wear glasses. Hmm, yes. Anyway, right, so uh, there's a collab as well. So there you've got uh, the inference pipeline notebook there, so you can open that up in Google Collab. As you can see there, we've got much the same thing, much the same thing in here. It will uh, sort of uh, hide the text prompts a little bit. So you have to click on the text prompt and then click on the little box and then you've got where the text prompts go. Yeah, so you can change your prompts down there. And also when you're ranking images by clip score, uh, your session may crash if you don't have a subscription to Colab Pro. So that kind of recommends using Colab Pro with that notebook. Let's just pop that down. Right, anyway, so we're going to be installing it locally because that's the sort of stuff I do, isn't it? Yes, so what is my environment? I am using Ubuntu 20.04 because well, that's the best operating system for machine learning. Uh, I'm also using an NVIDIA RTX 3090 because you're going to need an NVIDIA card with this. Uh, I've also got the NVIDIA drivers and CUDA toolkit installed, of course, and I am I'm using Anaconda for my virtual Python environment because that makes everything really easy. Right, okay, so talking about the virtual Python environment, here it is, Conda Create minus minus name Dali Mini because I am good at names and I'm using Python 3.9 here. Now, once you've created your new virtual environment, don't forget to activate it with Conda Activate Dali Mini. Now, you will, of course, need to download the repo so you can get clone it here. If you're not sure where to get the, uh, the URL from, it's there copy paste it there you go so you can git clone and then there that's that's the url yeah okay now don't forget to change directory into your newly downloaded thing there cd dali mini and uh, then you'll want to install a few things now the instructions here are pretty close they are pretty close it does say pip install minus e dev so you, you can do that but then you will need to do a couple more things as well now because i'm using an nvidia 3090 uh, with the CUDA Toolkit 11.7, uh, the version of Jax they install won't, by default, uh, recognize my GPU. So I had to install the CUDA 11 CUDNN 8.2 version of Jax. So ever so slightly different, but you can just install Jax after you've done your pip install minus E dev. Uh, you will then, of course, also need your uh, Jupyter Notebook. So uh, Conda install minus C, Conda Forge Notebook and IPy widgets as well. Yes. Now, if you are using Microsoft Windows, some notes there for you. One, why? That's that's the main question. And number two, if you want to install Jax on Windows, then you're going to have to go over to that URL there, download some stuff, and yeah, yeah, you'll you'll get it working on Windows eventually. It's it's reasonably easier, reasonably easy. Yes. Anyway, so right there, that's it. You've done it. You've downloaded it. You've installed it, and now now you can run it. All righty, all righty. So let's run it. There you go. Copy faster. It's uh, it's in there. Tools inference run inference notebook dot sh. Yeah. Yeah, right, there we go. Okay, so that starts to do things. It, ooh, what's going on here? That's right. Okay, so you need to open up this URL here. It gives you a little URL, so we'll do that. Open link, and there you go. It gives you the uh, Jupyter Notebook. Now, the things are in Tools, Inference, and then the Inference Pipeline, yeah? 
There you go. There you go. So now it looks exactly the same as the collab, doesn't it? Looks exactly the same as the collab. Now for the very, 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 very first run, probably what you want to just do is sell and then run all. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do that now as well. So that will run through everything. It will do all your downloads and bits and pieces. And you'll notice eventually when it gets down to a bit about weights and biases, I think it's down here. WMB. Now, I, of course, have already logged in and done my API key and all that sort of stuff. But if uh, if you haven't, the very first time you do it, you will need to go over to the Weights and Biases website. It will give you a little uh, give you a little thing to go to. So there you go. Weights and Biases authorize. Yep. Yeah. And then you'll have to download that five gig file, which might take a couple of minutes, but obviously you'll only have to do it once. And the other thing to notice as well is by default, the DALI model there, it uses the DALI Mega. Now, as it says here as well, if your notebook crashes too often, you can use Dali Mini instead by commenting the line below. So if you want to use the tiny, tiny model, you can use that one. There you go. Yeah, so that's how you uncomment it. We'll just we'll just put the comment back in. Just put the comment back in. So there you go. And that's that's it. That's it. You're now you're now running Dali Mini on your own little computer and you're doing all the things. So there are the text prompts sunset over a lake in the mountains. And if we scroll down, we can see there it is. It's generating. It's got 38 percent of the way through. It's doing a sunset over a lake in the mountains and also the Eiffel Tower landing on the moon. So if we have a little scroll down there, we can see there we've got the lake. There we've got the Eiffel Tower on the moon, another lake, another Eiffel Tower on the moon. And uh, as it goes through those, eventually it only takes a couple of minutes. As you can see there, we're about 52 seconds through. So it's about a minute and a half for eight images. And then it will rank your images by clip score. So there you go. You've got Dali running, Dali Mini running locally on your own little computer. So if we want to change the prompts, you can just put the things in there. So like we had before, you can just do a very nerdy rodent. Yeah. The Eiffel Tower landing on Mars, if you wanted to. Yeah. And then from there, you can just do sell and run all below. Yeah. So you don't have to do that first bit again. So that's fine. So there you go running Dali Mini locally on your own little computer and uh, having lots of fun generating images. Yeah. So, rodent out for now. See you on the next one.